Hey everybody, Joshua Hanlon here, and today I'm bringing you a review of Brick City Global Icons to Make from Lego, and this is written by Warren Ellsmore. And before I start the review real quick, uh, we actually had Warren Ellsmore on the Beyond the Brick show and did a real in-depth interview with him, talking about how he started building with Lego and some of his builds and things. So if you want to talk, if you want to learn more about the author of this book, I will have a link to his interview in the description of this video below, so you can check that out. Now he starts off with here and actually ends with, so there's one of these at the beginning and the end, a really cool poster that's one of my favorite things from the book. And this is uh, St. Pancras Station, actually built by uh, Warren Ellsmore. And so I like these real high resolution pictures on the uh, posters here. And the amount of detail in this is incredible. We actually discuss uh, this in our interview with him. So if you want to learn more about this build, he talks about this as well and some of the building techniques he used in it. But I thought this was really neat. And then fold this up here. You keep moving on into the book. He uh, starts off with the 10 most useful bricks, which I thought was pretty cool. So these are kind of, I'm sure if you asked uh, different people, you'd get different opinions on the 10 most useful bricks, but this is what he thinks are the 10 most useful. Uh, one of them is the one by four plate hinge, uh, the one by one brick with studs on four sides. I know a lot of people like that brick. Uh, your cheese slope, that's real popular brick. And uh, of course your 2x4 brick, your classic, one of the oldest bricks LEGO makes and a lot of people that's their favorite brick as well. And he discusses where you can buy bricks, kind of talks about the scale here like micro, minifig scale, things like that. Uh, talks a little bit about CAD modeling, gives some building tips, um, shows some of the different colors of LEGO bricks here. and. Then also talks about some techniques as well, so you can uh, kind of a practice project that he gives you, uh, mosaic techniques, things like that. And then here is kind of the main portion of the book, which is uh, showing, he actually has a customizing minifig section here as well. So here's the main portion of the book, which is showing uh, real life buildings and vehicles that um, people have built out of Lego. These aren't these models aren't all by Warren Ellsmore. He has other people uh, contribute to the book like this is by Arthur Gujic so it's not just by Warren Ellsmore though he did build a lot of them. So uh, most of them he'll show instructions for not all of them like this cable car he shows instructions for right here re real detailed so you can uh, if you have the pieces it's what he lists right here you can build that really easily so he makes that simple which is nice so you can start practicing on some of these builds and then you go through the, a lot of these are all it's from all different cities around the world like Los Angeles uh, Las Vegas all different cities and if you keep moving here here's New York kind of a micro uh, New York and Chicago Here's the, uh, here's the World Trade Centers, the new World Trade Center with the uh, memorial where the old, two old ones used to be and there's actually a poster in the back of the book of this, so I'll show you that later on. And if you move through here, here's uh, Lisbon, I believe, and here's the St. Pancras Station so you can get more info on that. And one of the builds that I really liked looking through here was uh, Venice. This is the uh, bell tower of St. Mark's Basilica. I thought the colors were really neat on this build and the design. So he gives real detailed instructions, like I said earlier, of uh, this build and gives all the pieces, shows you how to build it here. So if you want to build that, it'd be real simple. There's a gondola. And then another build I wanted to show you was uh, Cape Town here. This is Greenpoint Lighthouse, a real small micro version that I thought was neat. The nice thing about these micro versions is you don't have, uh, you don't need that many pieces. So there's not a whole lot of pieces in this and you can still make something that's really neat like that. And detailed instructions for that as well. If you keep on moving, here's Hong Kong. This is a junk right here, one of the famous ships there. So that's neat. And like I said, the micro, real tiny micro stuff, just a few pieces and you can build that, but it's still easily recognizable. Here's Shane Guy, and then Tokyo here, all different cities. So then at the back of the book, like I said, there's another poster. This is the New World Trade Center. So 
This is the one I showed you earlier with the memorial there where the uh, two World Trade Centers used to be. Now there's just the one World Trade Center and then some of these other buildings around it. And so this is really neat. This is actually by Spencer Rezcala. So Warren Ellsmore didn't build this one, but this is very cool. I've seen this in person at Lego conventions and it's a really neat model. So I, like I said, the poster is one of my favorite things here. So I think that's it for the book here. I hope you enjoyed the review and I was very impressed with it. The instructions were all very detailed. The photos were all really neat. Uh, one thing I wanted, would have liked to see in it is, um, for instance, on some of these, uh, like right here, maybe put like a small photo of the real life thing, like an actual like red phone box out in uh, where, wherever these would be based and different things like that. So if, you, if, if they could have included on some of these, there's some extra room where they could have put a photo of the real life building or something, that would have been kind of neat uh, to, to compare it to, see how the Lego model compares to the real thing. But uh, besides that, that's really my only complaint, and that thing was, that's really minor, it's not that big of a deal. It's just something that I thought would have been interesting. I was very impressed with this book, and I would encourage you to check it out. I'll put a link in the description below to a website where you can buy it if you're interested in that. So, thanks for watching, everybody.